Hello friends, this is Scott, and we have some exciting news down at the hobby farm. Looks like we have some growth of some new plants, and uh, spring must just be right around the corner as the tulips are coming up. So it must be ready to start playing the garden, as it appears. Uh, taking a little broader look, no, not quite. Still got lots of snow, it's got to melt. Uh, we were able to have kind of a you know fairly nice day to go take a walk, and I wanted to show you a little bit of the scenery in this little just outside this little town uh, that we now call a second home. And just beautiful, lots of snow, beautiful mountains, tons of recreational opportunities. And this is only one part of the valley. Uh, this is the very far west part of uh, the county that I, that the Bobby Farm is in. And there's a whole bunch more to the east that has lots of uh, you know mountains and hiking and biking and fishing and all kinds of hunting and just all kinds of stuff. But as you see, it's pretty wide open space. Beautiful country, though, and uh, we got to enjoy a little bit of the outside, but like all good things, must come to an end, and we get a phone call, and this is our rental house in Salt Lake City, and had a big windstorm and and knocked the fence down. Well, the neighbors were able to prop the fence back up along with our renters, and they put a couple sticks in there just to hold the fence up, but this is on the top of a kind of a really hilly backyard, and uh, it's very, very windy, and uh, once the really strong winds from the storm last week came, and took out this old, old fence and just laid it down. So I have to get in here and take care of business. Now, earlier this year, we had a problem with this tree. It's an old Chinese elm, and we had to pay like $3,000 to get that cut up. So there's my firewood for the hobby farm, which will come. I'll be processing that and taking that down to the hobby farm in a later video. But the first problem we have is, as you see a little structure behind there with the plastic on it, that's a chicken coop. And uh, the renters we have have a big dog. And the big dog met one of the chickens, and it uh, wasn't a good outcome. So while I fix this fence, uh, I've got to make sure I protect the, the rest of the chickens that are, that are still around. There's still three more in the, in the pen. So I've got to put up a temporary fencing just to try to keep the big dog out and until I have time to make sure that I get the post set. And then I've got to let those set for a few days, then come in and set the rails, and then put the slats back on. Now, we got a bid from a couple of different people. And they wanted to charge us $3,800 to fix this one section of fence or $1,800 to just replace the post. Well, I have a little bit of a skill set, and I said I'm not going to pay that kind of money. So I'll probably be into this probably five, dollars $600 and my time, but I'll, I'm not going to pay $3,800 or $1,800 even to, fi to fix this fence. That's just, uh, that's just taking advantage of people in my opinion. So uh, in between storms, I was able to get over here and uh, I got some posts set. And I had, you know, anytime you're replacing an existing fence, uh, you've got issues with concrete where the old posts were. And I also came across, as I'm trying to adjust the post distances, I'm coming across some different uh, infrastructure. There was a, some kind of a galvanized pipe in the ground. I don't know what it is. but So I had to move the posts around a little bit so they're not all, you know, they're not the standard eight foot on center. Some are a little bit shorter and some are a little bit longer. But I did put a lot of concrete in here, and it was the quick setup concrete that's supposed to set up in like 50 minutes. Well, this, it's been stormy, and I'm just I'm going to let it sit for longer than that. I'm going to let it sit for several days. Uh, being up on top of a hill and as being as windy as it's been with the storms, all I need is to put another kite up on top of the hill and have the wind uh, take out my new fence. So, so I think I'll I was going to go tomorrow, uh, which is two days after setting the post, but I think I'm going to wait till next week to. To put the rails and the slats in just because of the weather and I just want to make sure it's solid but as you see looking down the yard it's a little bit of a hill but every day this is what we've been facing uh, lots of snow and uh, it just keeps on coming and then we have a little bit of breaks in the snow for a few hours and then it, the rain the snow keeps coming back and the forecast looks like for the next week kind of the same thing so so it's always something I'm trying to get down to the hobby farm to finish up some trim or start some trim work and on the inside but I can't get anything done. Uh, it seems like I'm always uh, trying to play catch up and, and fix what's already broken. So, But uh, this just shows you a little bit of the projects that I have to do here in the near future. And uh, if everything costs money, it is what it is. Nothing's getting cheaper in this economy for sure. So anyway, uh, hopefully you like this video and I'll show you a finished video. I'm going to use the slats that are there. I'm not going to replace a bunch of slats. I mean, I'm going to replace all the rails and with new brackets, and then I'm just going to put up the slats that are still usable, and then I'll replace a few of them that are broken. But yeah, it's a, at this point, those slats will 
last us a little while longer and uh, we don't need to waste any money at this point in time. We can always replace them later. So anyway, hope you like this video. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment as I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.